Welcome to the last round of Math Magic, the place where we work together to uncover the magic in math safely at home. Join me as I read my favorite short story from this book, and then grab a calculator and get ready to work. The Calculator Argument Once upon a time, two mathematicians were having a discussion. An argument, really. Calculators are terrific arithmetic tools said one of the mathematicians. I agree, said the other. That wasn't what the argument was about. The first mathematician went on. I wonder why they even bothered to make kids learn how to do arithmetic with paper and pencil. Why don't all kids just get a calculator along with their other school supplies? What? said the second mathematician. And that's when the argument started. That's crazy. Having a calculator to use is a convenience, but it doesn't replace knowing how to do something on your own. Why should kids have to learn how to do something that they never have to do? Something that a calculator can always be used for. The first mathematician answered, Knowing arithmetic is an advantage. It would be like having to carry an extra brain around in their pockets. What if they had to do some figuring and didn't have their calculators with them? Or what if the batteries were dead? What about that? The argument was getting serious. No one is ever in that much of a rush. Doing arithmetic is never an emergency situation. Having to wait to get a new battery would seem to take less time than all the time it would take to learn how to practice and do arithmetic. That takes years to do. Years that kids could spend doing much more interesting things than math. Look. The second mathematician went on, exasperated. Kids need to learn to be self-sufficient, to be able to depend on themselves to do jobs. Using a calculator isn't bad. It just shouldn't be the only way kids can do arithmetic. It just doesn't make sense. The first mathematician wouldn't budge in the argument. The calculator is a tool. When you do a job, it makes sense to use the best tool there is to do that job. If you have a pencil sharpener, you don't use a knife to sharpen a pencil. If you're in a hurry, you don't walk. You go by car. You don't walk just because it is the way you've always gotten there, just because there that was the way you used to travel. Aha, uh -huh. answered the second mathematician. Walking is still useful. You knew how to do that before you learned how to drive or ride a bicycle. Just because we have cars, we don't discourage kids from learning how to walk. That's a ridiculous argument. Their argument went on and on, and to this day, it hasn't been resolved. So kids today are still learning how to do arithmetic and they're still learning how to use a calculator. Using a tool successfully is always a great idea. Pause the next two screens and see if you can find the sum by looking at the pattern or using a calculator. Isn't math magical? Stay safe and goodbye.